How's it going everyone? It is Hov here with another Clash of Clans episode for you today. Now, I do apologize if you hear any kind of sniffles and uh, voice changes. I have actually got a little bit of a cold coming on, uh, but I did want to get this video out for you today. Now, today what I'm going to be doing is looking over my base. Uh, it's a level 4 base and it is the most effective one that I've had so far. Now obviously I'm not the highest level 4 base uh, out there so you can also upgrade all your walls if you have enough money but this is what I have found works for me so far. Now I also before I wanted to uh, do this I want to go over my clan it's been a bit of a confusion because the two, the initial clan I made got full straight away and we've had to set limits. So we've set a limit now for that 70 above. Now we've made a second clan which I am currently in. Um, I'm the co-leader. I'm going to be promoted to the leader just to sort it out. Um, but the funny thing is this clan as well is pretty much full so um yeah i have now gonna have to make a third clan which should be up by tonight um for everybody else so the basic the basic uh, pecking order will be the top clan will be level 70s and above uh, or higher trophies it's one or the other this clan that i'm showing you right now which is wizards of oz of uh, will be levels 40 to 70 and the other clan will be anything under level 40. So um, I will be sorting this out. So if you're already in the clan and you get kicked, don't worry. You're not being kicked out completely. You'll just be put into the other clan while we uh, categorize you guys and section you off. Uh, so don't be offended or anything. We're just setting it up. And you guys then have the ability to come higher and higher and higher and get up into the top clan. So it's a real cool thing. Something for you guys to work on uh, if you want to. So yeah, that's how it's going to go. Hopefully that is all questions asked. I don't know the name of the new clan at the moment. It might be Giants of Of, uh, just in case. I'll put it in a uh, comment down below if you're interested in joining that if you're a lower level. Anyway, on to my base. So what have I gone here? Uh, I started off having walls basically surrounding everything until I noticed you don't really need to do that. You only really need to wall off things like your mortars, your cannons, basically your main uh, defenses and also your big things here so obviously the gold storage the elixir storage is uh, here here and also I've done my clan castle now I didn't know any clan castle which I now obviously know when you request troops um, like that if you're away and someone attacks you they actually come out and defend your your area your clan uh, your no sorry not your clan your base which is absolutely awesome so I did tuck mine before all the way down here but I've actually put it pretty centered uh, because it is a pretty interesting thing in my eyes anyway so yeah so I put my clan castle there and as you can see my town hall here in the middle is level four now I've also done the tactic of spreading builders huts army camps builders huts army camps all around the map so people find it hard to 100% because they don't have the right amount of time but sometimes, obviously, that does get beaten. Now, I've also closely put together all my other stuff. So my elixirs, my coins, uh, another barracks, the research, all really close. So when people come for them, they are all in range of the cannons, the snipers, or the archers, sorry. Uh, uh, the mortars, you know, uh, even the air defense. And in the middle here, I haven't had enough walls to fill these gaps here. So this is where people will think, oh, there's an exploit here. I can just kind of... You know, attack attack through here and kind of rush through and take out the snipers. Little did they know, some of their people will be sprung up into the air or destroyed by a bomb. So that is my level 4 tactic, guys. It's worth the best. People in the clan have said it's a great one. So that is what I have gone for. Now, oh, thank you, Ethan, for level 5 archers. So, uh, yeah, that's what we've gone for. Now, this clan at the moment, Wizards of Of, is actually at war. Yeah, I'm not in the war because I am chopping and changing, obviously going on to different clans because I want to have a look, check everything's running smoothly. We are now at war, uh, which is pretty awesome, to be honest. I will show you how we're doing on this war right now. So, it is battle day. We are losing 42 to 60, uh, which obviously doesn't seem good. But the thing about that is we've only attacked 19 times. They've attacked a whole 32 times, which is what? I don't know, 12, 13 times more than us. So um, obviously if we did 13 attacks and got three for each one, we would go right over their uh, thing. So, you know, that's pretty good. I think the main thing, uh, I've actually just had, as I'm doing this, a message from Adam, who's the leader while I'm away of the Masters Clan, saying it may be bunked up to level 85 and above because of the high demand. So that might be happening, uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, otherwise, it's staying at 70 at the moment. Anyway, let's have a look at the war so far. So this is the enemy team's um, base. There are a lot of them, a foreign Chinese by the looks of it. 
Um, and we've been able to three-star quite a lot of their places, which is nice. Good to see that the battles we have done have been demolished. We've got a one-star there. So uh, let's have a look at a base. I believe we can replay it. Yeah, there we can. So this is Ethan. Ethan has gone onto this base and three-starred it. Let's see what he's done. So he's uh, he's put out his archers. Wow. What is that he's just put down? Is that a king? I have no idea. I'm still new to this game. So that's his king going around and absolutely destroying that base like there's nothing even there. He's got a load of little Robin Hoods or Lynx or something running around with him, their archers. But, you know, they look like that. So that's a, that was a pretty easy one for him to do. And it's pretty good that he's gone around and absolutely destroyed that. Let's see him. And that is the end of that one. All right, so uh, let's go. I don't want to play it again. Let's go on to the war map. And let's go have a look at another one. Let's go see uh, one that we only got one star on. See what happened here. This was by uh, Kel... Is Kel... Who is it? I don't know where it says it. Oh, uh, Kelvin Davidson X. Let's see how he's done. So um, he's got people coming in. Doing something, but I have no idea what the hell that was. <laughs> so he's got his giants coming in. Now this tactic he's done is a lot different to the other guy. He's gone. Uh, oh wow, that is a, a lot of giants he's just put in there. Out come the clash of sun people to go and kill his guys, and the uh, giants are doing absolute jobs on all the defenses there. That's a pretty good tactic. And now he's got stuff going around destroying his side. So I guess all the giants are going to die all of a sudden. I'm really intrigued to see how that happens. Okay, so it looked like there was a bomb there, and they're just being taken out. They can't get out the walls to take everything down. The sniper's taking them down. This sniper here is doing jobs, but there we go. So that wasn't a too bad. Uh, one star still obviously good. It's a w way better than losing. So that's pretty awesome. Anyway, so we've been donated loads and loads of people. So we'll go and attack someone. We're not in the clan war at the moment, so we can't see that. So we'll just go find a match online. Uh, and have a look around. So yeah, the uh, clan might be bumped up to 85 plus clan because we have had so many applicant guys. It's so amazing you guys want to join my clans. So I've had to make three. Hopefully everybody can get in a clan. Uh, if not, obviously you can work your way up quite easily. So we will, let's give this one a go. This one doesn't look too bad, uh, but I always seem to say that and something always seems to go wrong. Uh, so I'm just going to spawn up troops literally everywhere. Uh, tactics have kind of gone out the window right about now, actually, now I'm thinking about it. Let's put these up in here. Now, let's see what we were given. I believe we were given archers by everybody. Yeah, it looks like we were given archers. So, I I like to go for the tactic where you just spread them around. Because otherwise, I don't know, they just seem to walk around in a pack. And if one of those mortar things hits them, they just seem to all die. But, uh, <laughs> the giants are, at the moment, going for the sniper tower. Except for this giant. I don't know where he's going. Where is this guy going? There, he's going for the cannon. All right, we've got one star really, really quickly. I think it's because all this stuff was spread out so far over here. Let's see where these giants are going now. They really need to go in and attack the mortar. They've got kind of a, a weak defense in the middle bit there. He's just walked into his defense. How the hell did he just do that? Go on, son. Go take out that mortar. Let's see if we can 100% this guy. Looking close to it, they've only got one more mortar uh, to a defense in there. So it, it is a possibility. The giants got in. And we are now destroying it. This looks, guys, that we can 100% him on this video. That's a great way to start a video uh, attacking-wise anyway. So we will go for another attack after this. But that is pretty cool. So there we go. Let's 100% this guy and get this over and done with. Perfect. Victory. We have... Destroyed him. Now, we didn't get much loot from that, but I wasn't going for loot, to be honest. I was going for, uh, to try and get the, uh, what you call it, trophies. So, let's go in and, uh, train up our troops again. So, I always like to go for around five heavies, uh, followed by a lot of these. I really need to level up my, uh, heavies, actually. That is something that I will level up pretty soon. Where's my last barracks? There it is. Uh, but I can't do that quite yet. I haven't got enough money. I need... A little bit more money and then I can do that. So let's finish the training on these lot. Uh, finish training. And finish. Oh, we can't finish training on all of them. How many can we finish on? Not many at all. Wow. There we go. Alright, so let's go attack these now. So I think we've still got some uh, defense from our gang. Uh, from our clan. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So I'll show you my research at the moment. Obviously, I haven't got quite enough uh, elixir yet to upgrade the big guy. I've upgraded the other three people 
Um, I actually have hardly ever used this dude right here. Uh, but, you know, is it, I just like upgrading stuff. So let's go and attack another person. We'll go attack one more guy. Uh, it will be a shorter video, get, guys, for today. But uh, as you can probably notice, I do have a cold, which is really, really annoying. Right, so this has worked out well. He is actually upgrading two of his defenses. Uh, so we will try and exploit that, actually, straight out the bat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spawn up these troops right about here. Spawn up the archers. Spawn up the giants. And uh, I'm going to put a couple of these guys over here. Oh, no. That wasn't probably that, that wise, to be honest. So let's spawn up our people. Just all probably going to go in the same area there. Uh, they can go over there. And I'll put this guy's archers over here that he sent us. We've got a few. I think we've got five. That's not bad. Some higher level archers. It's always nice. So the uh, heavies have split up. A few of them have gone that way. I think that's only one of them has gone this way. But he seems to be doing jobs. Seems to be defending it off the wizard pretty well. I'm still looking at buying a wizard or... Um, Getting a wizard as soon as I can. Wizard looks like it's going to go down from the archers. He is going down from the archers. Nice. All right. So our troops have gone round. Heavies are going now for the other snipers. Uh, but that sniper tower looks pretty rigid. And to be honest, I don't know if we're going to be able to 100% this guy. I think this is going to be a, uh, a one star, hopefully. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure even if it's going to be a one star right now. So let's hope that we can get a one star out of this. We just need people to, to kind of destroy that one last base. Uh, one last building. We've got quite a few archers hitting it. Uh, we've got a few warriors left. Scratch that. We have zero uh, barbarians left. Sorry, not warriors. Barbarians. Oh, come on. We just, just destroy it. No, we are not going to get a star on this, are we? We're going to get killed. Oh, gutted. We have lost 20 trophies. You win some, you lose some as well. Anyway, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. We're now on 900 trophies, level 20, which is pretty beast. Uh, we've got, we're actually growing quite fast, which is nice to see. I'm sure it will slow down pretty soon. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video.